Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'll be sharing with you my top 10 healthy habits that I follow on an everyday basis to feel more energized and more productive. Now I understand that habits can be a little difficult to follow. Even though we know that the habit is good for us, it can be a challenge to do it on a regular basis and be consistent with it. So today I'll be showing you 10 healthy habits that I follow every single day to make my days more productive and feel better about myself. So let's get started. I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there that some habits that work for me may not work for you and some habits that work for you may not work for me. So we all should just experiment and find what fits us and our routine the best. The very first is to move your body. Now, I used to find exercising a really tedious thing to do. Like, it would be like a chore. But now, once that I have started gymming, it really feels so much more better and you feel more energized and more productive. It feels like an accomplishment. Now, it doesn't really have to be gym. It can be like taking a walk or doing some dancing or hiking or anything or a brisk walk anything that makes you feel better that gives movement to your body because um with today's day and age with the jobs that we have we're just sitting at our desks using our laptops and it can get really tiring and um it can make us feel less productive less energized so moving your body and giving it some time to just be in the nature can just feel so good. So we all should incorporate moving our bodies more um, so that we feel better about ourselves. The second habit is to hydrate like you're a plant. Now it's become a habit that I carry a water bottle everywhere I go. I even keep a water bottle next to me while I'm filming and I take quite a few sips while I'm filming as well. It's really important to hydrate guys. One thing I've noticed is when I used to not hydrate, my skin would look visibly very dehydrated and dull and parched. So drinking water will not only keep you hydrated, it will also keep your skin hydrated and make you look glowy and fresh in general. This can also flush out a lot of toxins from your body. So it's it's really important to have ample amount of water for your body so please carry a water bottle wherever you go keep one reusable bottle in your car next to you when you're studying when you're working it's really important guys tip number three now this is to fuel your day with goodness by that I mean having a good hearty breakfast now, skipping breakfasts is a bad idea, but what is also a bad idea is having sugary things for breakfast like pancakes, waffles. Now I eat more healthier breakfasts. It can be dosa, idli, it can be ragi dosa, it can be any of these Indian breakfasts like poha or something like that. I even really enjoy paddus. Now these make me feel really energized. As you know, some of the nutritionists say that it is never really good to skip your breakfast. For once, you can even think about skipping your dinner. I'm not saying you should, but that is still better than skipping breakfast. Breakfast is what will set the tone for the entire day. So what you have in the day will make you feel more energized, you know, in the morning, especially. So I generally love to incorporate maybe like a glass of juice or dry fruits or fruits anything in general with the breakfast I have. So it makes me feel really nice and nourished and, um, you know, include nutrients right in the start of the day also gives me a lot of energy. Tip number five, it's to take a few deep breaths and practice meditation. Now, everything that's happening around us can make us really stressed and anxious about a lot of things. And what really helps me is taking a few deep breaths and calm myself down. I also really like to incorporate meditation into my daily routine. It really helps to uh, regulate my stress. Also guys, there are plenty of guided meditation apps and certain videos on YouTube that you can follow. So I for one can't like just sit and meditate 
still without you know thinking something or the other so i always go through the route of guided meditation it's much more easy for me so you don't really have to go ahead in the first and start with like a 10 minute meditation you can start uh, slow you can take maybe like a 5 minute meditation in the beginning and then a 7 minute and then a 9 minute and then go ahead like that tip number 6 now this healthy habit is a little difficult to incorporate generally when you're working but it's really important to connect with the nature maybe you're just taking a walk you know you're just sitting outside in your balcony you're just taking some fresh air i mean it is so important to be in the nature to be connected with nature because it calms you down and personally i love taking long walks i love sitting on my terrace and just reading a good book i think it's one of my favorite things to do so take out a few minutes from your day be it morning evening or at really late night you know you can just go ahead go for a good long walk in the nature with fresh air it feels amazing and this will definitely boost up your mood and even set the tone for the next day especially if you're doing it at night tip number seven gratitude practicing gratitude is so important being thankful for what you have all that we have gotten from god or from anyone just being grateful is so important so i generally take time a little time out of my day to practice gratitude to just sit and it it doesn't have to be you know very big it can be small things like i am grateful for the food i ate today i am grateful for the friends that i have i am grateful for my wonderful parents it can be anything but practicing gratitude will not only keep you humble but will also help you count your blessings so when you're feeling that you know why don't i have that why don't i have that you can always you know look back at your gratitude journal or book and just really focus and you know feel more grateful and abundant about yourself tip number eight taking some time out of your day to schedule any activity for yourself so generally our days can get really monotonous you know wake up go to college or go to work come back home eat and you know do a few chores at home and go to bed so it can really get very monotonous so scheduling activities that you enjoy can really really help boost up your mental health and mental wellness as well so it can be things like reading a book or be things like scheduling a painting class or going for a hike or taking a dance class, going for gymnastics, pilates. It can be anything, any activity that you enjoy. Don't forget to take some time to have fun with your life and just enjoy doing the activities that you love. Tip number nine. Now, this tip is to unplug and disconnect from the world. With the amount of hours that all of us use on social media or on our mobile phones, on the internet, it can get overwhelming. And quite honestly, it is very overwhelming for most people. So taking some time out, unplugging, just relaxing back and just being you know, in the present, it, it can really make a difference, you guys, it can really make a difference. So just before you sleep, just unplug your devices, just, you know, put it on like a sleep mode or something. And just leave it be, you know, just be with your friends, be with your family, you know, be with yourself, do some self pampering, like skincare, hair care, it can be anything. Or you can just sit and read a book, it can be anything, but using your phone because taking some time out of the day like 30 minutes to an hour away from your phone is really important now most of the work that we even do for school colleges work everything we use a mobile phone for so taking some time out away from that can be really beneficial for our well-being now last and final tip i guess is the most important one we do forget to be kind to ourselves we generally are kind to people around us but suddenly when we make a mistake we are our biggest criticizers and not in a good way so learn to be kind to yourselves you know learn to 
forgive yourself for the mistake that you have made maybe you fumbled in a presentation that you were giving it's okay we all make mistakes it can be any sort of a thing learn to let it go and not sit and overthink about it and you know just make yourself miserable oh how could i do this don't do that guys just be kind to yourself let it go we learn from our mistakes and that's how we grow so those were my 10 healthy habits that i follow on a day to day basis to make my life better and to make myself feel better take care of myself my mental health my well being so i really hope you guys um try to incorporate at least a few of these in your everyday routine and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe to my channel bye